India is preparing to launch its heaviest military communication satellite, CMS-03, also known as GSAT-7R. The satellite will be launched by ISRO's LVM-3 rocket from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre on 2nd November 2025. The liftoff is scheduled for 5.26 p.m. IST. This satellite is being built for the Indian Navy and will replace the older GSAT-7, which has been in service since 2013. The GSAT-7 series was made to give India its own secure naval communication system and reduce reliance on foreign networks. CMS-03 weighs 4,410 kilograms, which is more than the normal GTO payload limit for LVM-3. To handle this, ISRO will not place the satellite into a standard geostationary transfer orbit. Instead, it will put it into a lower sub-GTO, and the satellite will then use its own liquid apogee motor to raise itself into the final geostationary orbit. The full orbit raising process will take between 4 to 7 days, and after that, the satellite will need around 4 to 5 weeks for full commissioning. Once operational, it will support secure voice, video and data transfer across ships, submarines, aircraft and naval bases. CMS-03 or GSAT-7R is part of a military communication satellite series developed for the Indian Armed Forces. The first satellite in this line, GSAT-7 Rukmini, was launched in 2013 for the Indian Navy. Later, GSAT-7A was launched for the Indian Air Force. The aim of this program was to create an independent communication network for India's defence forces and reduce dependence on the Inmarsat constellation. The new CMS-03 satellite continues this approach by upgrading the Navy's communication capabilities. The CMS-03 project was approved in June 2019 with funding from the Ministry of Defence. The total cost was Rs 1,589 crores. The satellite has multiband communication capability. It supports secure voice, video and data transfer. It is designed for network-centric operations which connect ships, aircraft, submarines and command centres through encrypted links. This helps in real-time coordination during missions. It also improves communication coverage across the Indian Ocean region. ISRO usually places heavy communication satellites into a geostationary transfer orbit. This is a long elliptical orbit where the farthest point is around 36,000 kilometers. Once the satellite is in this orbit, it uses its liquid apogee motor to slowly raise itself into a circular geostationary orbit. Previous missions like GSAT-19 and GSAT-29 followed this plan. GSAT-19, weighing 3,136 kilograms, was placed inside a 170 by 35,975 kilometer orbit. GSAT-29, weighing 3,423 kilograms, was placed in a 190 by 35,975 kilometer orbit. Both satellites used multiple lamp firings to reach their final orbits. The LVM-3 rocket has carried only payloads below 4,000 kg to GTO. When ISRO had to launch the 4,700 kg GSAT-N2 satellite, it hired SpaceX's Falcon rocket instead. CMS-03 weighs 4,410 kg, so it is above the typical limit for LVM-3. ISRO's known solutions to increase payload capacity include an upgraded CE-20 cryogenic engine with 21.8 tons of thrust, a common bulkhead design for reducing upper stage mass, and future semi-cryogenic engines. But these upgrades are not being used in this mission. ISRO is using the same cryogenic stage as before, and the semi-cryogenic engine is still under development. Because of this, LVM-3 will not place CMS-03 into a standard GTO. Instead, it will place the satellite in a sub-GTO of around 170 by 29,970 kilometers. After that, the satellite's onboard LAM engine will take over. At the perigee, the LAM will fire to increase the apogee. When the apogee reaches the required level, another firing will gradually reduce the orbit's eccentricity until the satellite reaches the geostationary orbit. This method uses the satellite's own propulsion to make up for the limits of the launch vehicle. The orbit raising process will take between 4 to 7 days. After the satellite reaches the geostationary orbit, ISRO will start testing and activating all systems. This will take an additional 4 to 5 weeks. When fully operational, CMS-03 will replace GSAT-7 and support India's naval operations for many years. In the future, ISRO plans to use semi-cryogenic engines, upgraded upper stages, and next-generation LVM-3 variants to carry heavier payloads to GTO. These upgrades will reduce the need to rely on foreign rockets for large satellites.